Greetings, Bowtie 5 here, and today we are going to be discussing the Winchester shirt. So first, what is a Winchester shirt? Most of you may know it as a contrasting cuff and collar, but the uh, actual name for this style of shirt is the Winchester shirt. Now that is when uh, you have the collar, is one color here, white, and the shirt base is another color, and then also the white cuff as well. Now, you may have find some styles where just the collar is contrasted and the cuff isn't. Um, they don't necessarily have to be French cuff. I've seen barrel cuff with the contrasting. Um, it comes in a variety of collar styles. I prefer a spread or cutaway myself. And um, But you can find point collars and um, tab collars or pin collars. Um, so there's a bunch of different... Um, style options in that regard. Um, the shirts don't always have to be a solid color like mine. You'll find patterns or stripes. Um, a lot of mine are custom. This style of shirt is uh, really hard to come by these days. You may find a few options um, from some brands, but um, I've <clears throat> more or less been relegated to having mine custom made. Now that we know what the shirt is, Let's discuss where the shirt comes from, and for that we have to travel all the way back to 1810 and talk about a man named Oliver Fisher Winchester, which is where the Winchester shirt get its, gets its name from. Now the Winchester name is probably more associated with the Winchester rifle. Um, he, uh, Mr. Winchester, was responsible for um, firearms as well as men's dress shirts. Um, he opened his first menswear furnishing store in 1837. Following this, he moved to New York City, and later in <clears throat> 1847, he co-founded Winchester and Davies Shirt Manufacturing Company. And this is when things really took off. Um, he was one of the first to, um, I don't want to say revolutionize, but really take hold of the... Uh, industrial <clears throat> movement that was going on. A lot of factories, um, before this time, a lot of things were made by hand. And, um, now we have these machines that are doing a lot of the work. They can pump out a higher volume of product in a shorter amount of time. And um, he hired several um, workers to man these machines and kind of get away from the hand sewing. Um, And this really, this allowed him to pump out um, hundreds of shirts a day <coughs> and fuel his um, growing menswear empire. Now, where the um, shirt itself comes from, it's a derivative of um, separates. So, um, before um, dress shirts became like a mass-produced thing, um, cuffs and collars, they were already kind of separate um, because of laundering and things like that, um, what was available for laundering at the time. Um, and I did this in a separate video on um, detachable collars and cuffs. Um, this was kind of the norm, and even at that time you had different colors, um, usually white, but you had some different colors and things that would come about. Now, when um, a better quality shirt is able to become more mass produced, of course the detachables become a thing of the past. But men still enjoyed having the white cuffs and collar with um, the different bodies. So Winchester started um, manufacturing that style of shirt. And it came in different kinds of colors and patterns and things, stripes. And um, he was the first clother, men's shirt clother, to actually start doing this. So that's how it became known as the Winchester shirt. Um, again, like I said, these days it kind of goes by the um, contrasting cuff collar. Not a lot of people know the name Winchester as they did um, back in this time. 
So it's um, kind of lost its way over the years, but um, I, with a, with um, regard to other accessories and other forms of menswear, I always like to know where what I'm wearing comes from or what all goes into it. I have fun to um, research and educate myself on different aspects of menswear and share that with you guys. Um, and I hope you have found this uh, video entertaining and have learned something about the Winchester shirt. As always, like and subscribe and hit me up in the comment section. And until next time.